on, yeah, girl, it's on. You know what it is when I finally make it home. I just hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone. Yeah, I hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone. And you just tell me what you down for. Anything you down for. I know things have changed. No, I used to be around more, but you should miss me a little when I'm gone. I just hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone. Hey guys, what's going on? Kirill here again, and as promised, I have a review of Prada Amber Pour Homme for you. This is the sample that I used. This is what a sample envelope looks like. It comes in this little envelope. As you can see, I have used this entire thingy. The whole vial is gone. I may have a little bit left. Let me check it out. Maybe I do have a little bit left. If I do, then I have at least something more to go oh yeah I do I do I do I do so yes the rest of the thing that I had I just put it on my skin but I don't really need to because I know this fragrance fairly well now and there's no need for me to smell it again but I do just to make this review a little bit better for you guys so let's jump into the review uh, longevity of this fragrance is crazy if you're a fan of longevity you're gonna like this scent it lasts at least at least 12 hours on me. I put I always go to sleep still having it. After I take a shower in the evening, when I get home from from work, I still smell it after shower. It is insane. It's it's crazy. Crazy longevity. Projection. Projection for the scent is uh, not the strongest, but at the same time, the way this thing smells, I don't want it to project like crazy, because it smells like soap. So I don't want to I don't want to smell like strong soap. I want the soap to be kind of, kind of, uh, you know, be being able to smell, but I don't want it to destroy people. I don't want to smell like insane soap. I want it to just be clean and fresh and and nice. So projection is is good actually for the, for this specific fragrance. People will smell you, but it won't it won't kill them. It's not it's not insanely strong. Um, unlike some scents where you want to be smelled. Versatility, versatility uh, for this fragrance is not that good. Um, I cannot see myself wearing this fragrance more than 10, 20 times a year. It's only for special occasions. I cannot see myself go doing everyday things with this fragrance. So, versatility is gonna get a one point deduction. Um, age, if you're um, older gentleman, you could definitely wear it. Uh, but my age group would have to be 20 and up and um, 20 is only if you're if you go to classy places often if you're a high, if you're a sophisticated guy if you if you enjoy the better things in life um, but other than that it's pretty much 25 and up I would say it's a very classy sophisticated fragrance for somebody who rocks a suit pretty often what it smells like okay guys I'm gonna give you the notes for this one if you like that but you're not gonna I'm not gonna use notes at all basically so the top notes are mandarin bergamot and cardamom middle notes are patchouli uh, tonka bean and vanilla and the base notes are vetiver neroli um, orange blossom saffron and suede um, in the top notes I kinda get the, the some of the notes in the bergamots but it, it doesn't matter the, the notes uh, I can't tell you for this one like what notes stand out the most, what notes you you don't smell as much. This one is basically just smells like expensive soap. You're gonna get soap. Um, it is gonna give you kind of that that bergamot, and then you're gonna get that little that little cardamom kind of vibe. But you don't don't even worry about the notes. It's basically the smell is a expensive soap. Um, yeah, and the dry down. Uh, it starts off as really just expensive soap, and then as it dries down, it becomes more of a baby powder smell. So, from soapy to powdery, but it's a very smooth transition. And you and you, it, it's not like you smell soap and then you smell powder. It's it's like it's a smooth transition. It's basically the similar smell comes through, but it just changes to a little bit more powdery, powdery, powdery. So it's it's just nothing surprising, pretty linear, nothing that's gonna just catch you off guard basically with this fragrance. So that's what it smells like. Um, perfect setting. Perfect setting for this one. I see uh, you taking a shower, washing your body with soap, with some really expensive soap, and then putting your suit on, and then going to a ballet, or or uh, some other concert or some uh, 
play or something like this where you have to dress super nice you put this on this perfect setting for that one season this is a fall and, su and a spring scent fall spring um, but uh, you could wear it in the winter or the summer you know in the summer nights maybe it's just a soap soap smell but uh, mostly for fall and spring um, why hate why love why why love if you like soapy fragrances if you like powdery fragrances if you like um, something that smells really expensive you might like this if you don't mind smelling feminine you might like this and why hate it's the opposite um, you're gonna hate it if you are a macho man remember macho man for the macho man out there who like to smell like bergamot and vetiver even though this scent has those notes they don't they don't jump out at you so it is feminine pretty feminine smell it's, it's kind of sweet but it's kind of like semi semi sweet um, it's um yeah but it's 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 pretty feminine it's kind of kind of floral kind of like powdery yeah, it's it's really feminine the girl can totally pull it off uh, so if you if you don't like that that's not for you um, if you don't like soap if you don't like powder you still might like it but this is most likely not your cup of tea it is kind of feminine um, for me as well I like some I like something uh, if I like feminine sense so this scent is I like it the scent but not I'm not crazy about it basically so the shining part for this fragrance I feel it's the best um, um, about after about an hour after about an hour it still projects fairly well but it smells amazing it's just like the really expensive soap it, it's it the best the best part for this fragrance um, basically I'm doing the shiny part for you guys so you know if if you're some other at the store uh, and you want to buy it, you kind of know if you could buy it right away or not. I told you with with um, Roca Man, you could buy it right away. This one, same thing. I told you that it lasts really good versatility. I mean, pr a projection you're not going to be unhappy with. So, if you like, if you smell it at first and you like that smell, you can buy it right away. You can trust me on that one. You can buy it and you're going to be satisfied with it. There's no surprises. It's not gonna go away in two hours. It's a long-lasting fragrance, uh, and it stays laying here pretty much throughout the whole life. Um, uh, who could be the opponent? The opponent for this one would be Versace the Dreamer, just because um, I could wear it on the same occasions. They're basically same occasion fragrances. I would wear it only on special occasions, basically, even though they don't smell. The smell is not similar, but the the situation I would wear it in is similar. So normally I go with the kind of smell it gives off, the kind of vibe it gives off. This time I'm just I'm I'm going uh, with um with the situation I would wear the scent in. So the point of this one would definitely be Versace the Dreamer, um, and that's that's another reason why. Um, let's keep going actually. Um, wh uh, would I buy this now? What I told you about Versace the Dreamer right now, they could be worn on the same occasions. And those are rare special occasions. So, for that reason, I cannot see myself wearing the scent if I buy it more than five times a year, maybe. And I don't think it's worth my money. I could just put on the Versace the Dreamer anytime I would want to put this one on. But at the same time, I think it would be a really good addition to my collection. Just because of such a unique smell that I don't have yet. I don't have that high-end, sophisticated soap smell. Uh, quite like this. Nothing's really quite like this in my collection. So, would I buy this? Maybe. Rating. So, a final rating for this one. I've decided uh, and make it 7.5 out of 10. Longevity and projection. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna deduct anything for it because the projection on this one it's not monstrous, but it's the way it's supposed to be. Um, versatility. One point deduction. Even though you could wear it all season. It is a spring fall, fall fragrance, but you can wear it all season. You, you can only wear it on very few occasions, so it's not really versatile. It's more of a high-end, sophisticated type of fragrance. So one point deduction for versatility and for smell. Smell I give two point five out of ten out of four. I'm sorry. So one and a half point deduction. Nothing wows me with this fragrance. It is nice, um, but not for everybody. So um, one and a half point deduction. Girls won't go crazy over this one. It's just nice, clean um, smell. Nothing special, nothing that wows me. 
So, um, actually, I could have deducted another half a point for, for projection, just because it's not a crazy projection monster. I could have done a better job, but I'm kind of going, going nicely with this one. I don't think this 10 deserves uh, a 7 out of 10. 7.5 is more of a of the lines that I go with when it comes to the send. I know if it's your favorite send, you may you may hate me for this review, but this is a pretty much you know an average smelling fragrance, nice, clean, sophisticated. It may be a ten for an older gentleman who always dresses nice and who always goes to fancy places because just because of high how uh, high quality the scent is. But for me, seven point five. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Pace from Russia with love. In World Series attitude, champagne bottle light, nothing ever changes. So tonight is like tomorrow night. I will have a model wife. Your bitch is as hot as ice. Every time you see me, I look like I hit the lotto twice.